Hello children. In this video, we will learn about what is hundred. There is a sale going on in several places in the Champapur market. Bunny and Bhola have come to the market to shop. First, they have come to Gaggu's shop to buy toys. There is a huge discount on toys at Gaggu's shop in the sale. Bhola wants to buy a new badminton racket. The new price, 110.50 rupees, has been written on this badminton racket by striking out the old price in this way. Bunny, what kind of a price is this? I understood 110 rupees, but how will we give this 0 0.50 rupees? Bhola asked Bunny. Bunny laughed and said, <laughs> Bhola, how many paise is 1 rupee equal to? 100 paise, Bhola replied quickly. Exactly. Suppose if we represent 100 paise by making a 100 squares in this way, then one square would be equal to one paise. If we take one of these hundred squares, then we can write it in the form of a fraction as one by hundred. Therefore, we can say that one paise is one by hundred or one hundredth part of a rupee. We can write one hundredth part of any number using decimal point as 0 0.01. The price of a badminton racket is 110.50 rupees. 0 0.01 rupee or one hundredth of a rupee is equal to one paise. Therefore, 0 0.50 rupees will be equal to 50 hundredth part of 1 rupee or 50 paise. In this way, the price of a badminton racket is 110 rupees and 50 paise. Bunny explained to Bhola. Bhola quickly understood. Bhola bought the badminton racket by giving 110 rupees and 50 paise to Gaggu. Now, both of them have come to eat ice cream at Babban's ice cream stall. Chocobar ice cream is being sold at a heavy discount at Babban's stall. Seeing the new price of Chocobar ice cream, 4 rupees 25 paise, Bhola told Bunny, Bunny, I can write the new price of the ice cream using decimal point. Children, can you tell how we will write the new price of Chocobar ice cream using decimal point? If you wish to, you can stop the video and find the answer. Chocobar ice cream costs 4 rupees and 25 paise. Just as we write one-tenth of any number using a decimal point, in the same way, we can write one-hundredth of any number using a decimal point. Here, 25 paise is 25-hundredth part of a rupee. So, we will first draw a decimal point, then write zero before it, because 2500th is less than one whole. Now, since 25 paise is 2500th of a rupee, we will write the number 25 in front of the decimal point. And do you know how we read the number written in the hundredth part? We will always read the number written in the hundredth part after the decimal point 
by speaking its digits. Like the number written here becomes 0 0.25. Now, if we add 0 to 4, what do we get? 4. In this way, we can write the new price of Chocobar ice cream as 4.25 rupees using the decimal point. Bunny and Bhola bought one one Chocobar ice cream each from Babban and happily returned home eating ice cream. Children, in this video we learned about what is hundredth. In the next video, we will learn more about it through some interesting examples.